Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to her channel, my channel, our channel. Um, so today we're talking about Denmark and why we got why and how we got married in Denmark. And if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. Somebody asked, one person <laughs> asked, and even if nobody asked, I was still going to talk about it anyways because I kind of want people to know that this option is available. So, yeah, let's, let's start, let's begin. So why? Is the first question, right? Mm -hmm. Why Denmark? So um, we knew we wanted to get married, but we were both in this year. Yes, like we knew since like last year that we wanted to get married this year, but we were both in different countries. Yeah. So I was in the UK. He was in Estonia. Estonia. And then we started like thinking about how we can come together, but marriage laws are strict in these clients. Yeah. So in Estonia, I have to be a resident of Estonia to be able to get married here. He is a resident, but I also have to be a resident for like six months. Yeah. Before we can get married in Estonia. So that canceled out Estonia. In the UK, you have to get a marriage visa to be able to get married in um, in the UK. But even for visa visa, we were finding it difficult to get. Yeah, we like, actually found it very, very difficult to get. We applied two times. We applied twice and... Refused. Twice. It was denied, <laughs> it was denied twice. Yeah. So, yeah. That didn't work out, so we cancelled out the UK. Yeah, and with that, it kind of like ruined all the plans we had. Like we had set in motion for this for year. this to happen, so we had to like go back to the drawing board, then start doing a lot of researches. Nigeria, what countries to go to? And yeah, I know you guys would ask, um, why not, why not Nigeria? And well, first of um, last year, I came back and. Hmm. 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 Just the flight ticket alone from yeah. Estonia to Nigeria was enough for was a lot. It was quite a lot. Yeah. So like, and this time it was going to be both of us. And last year when it worked, we had time. We had like three like months. We yeah, we ahead. planned it. We had like three months plan. But with this time, like after the whole um we a like a couple of times. Yeah. Um, so like all the plans, like I said, were ruined. Yeah. Then we didn't have much time again. So we factored in Nigeria quite all right. But like when we did our planning, did our budget thing, we need that. It was too expensive. It was too expensive. And we also knew that with Nigeria, we won't just go back home for the cut wedding. Exactly. Like why, why travel that distance for just cut, cut wedding? wedding? Obviously. And with the kind of parents that we have... Oh, let's let's now we have <laughs> the kind of parents that she has. Let me put it out there. We like, would, um, we, if we go back home, we would have to do everything. Yeah, like, we're not ready for that. So yeah, so then we had to find a middle ground somewhere that we can get legally married. It would be recognized everywhere in the everywhere, world. Everywhere, yeah, and um. We would be able to use it for whatever we wanted to do. So we went online and we and started we our ultimate search. Yeah, I like, actually have a timeline for this. Actually, thank God I brought my phone. I have a timeline. I think we started searching in February. On the 12th of February okay. was when we found Denmark. So we started researching before, I guess. Yeah. And then on the 12th of February, we found. Um, Denmark. So, why Denmark? Why did we choose Denmark? Denmark was because one, it was easily accessible to me. First off, 
and we kind of like wanted her to apply for visas because I was emotionally done with applying <laughs> for, UK, for visas. UK visas. Yeah, and I also I've always wanted to get a Schengen visa, so it was just the perfect time. Yeah, and it Denmark is accessible to him because he's in Estonia. Estonia is part of the Schengen areas, so he can travel to Denmark. Okay. Yeah. So the travel thing was out. Flight tickets were cheaper than what Nigeria. we would have to pay for Nigeria. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think we should add this. Like my flight ticket to Nigeria last year was almost equivalent to like all the flight ticket we booked together. Yes, <laughs> this year. yes, like it was crazy. True. Yeah, yeah, it's even lesser. But we calculated in pounds, so it might be the same thing. Yeah, um, the travel was easier. Booking flights was easier. Um, in Denmark, the legal certificate is like recognized everywhere in the world and you can i think the most important thing is you can marry on a visit visa yeah so if you absolutely. get your schengen visa as a student in the uk as anybody anywhere you can actually get married on that visit visa in denmark so you don't have to apply for a special visa to get married in denmark in the uk you have to apply for a special visa to get married in the uk so that was one of, and I think Denmark is like the only country so far that we found. Yeah, that we actually found. Yeah, because we tried to look for other countries, but we didn't. And we didn't find. That was basically why Denmark. So let me list it. It was easily accessible. We could get married on a visit visa. Flight tickets were cheap, considerably <laughs> cheap, and um, they have agencies. So I think because. A lot of people get married in Denmark. They have agencies that help you with these things because it's not just that you go on your business visa and you get married. You have to get your marriage license to be able to get married there. So the process is quite specific. If you don't give them the documents they want, the way they want it, they are only obliged to answer you within five days of your application. If there's a mistake in your documentation, they can take as long as six months before they reply you again. So there are agencies that they've done this over and over again and they know what they need. So it's kind of easy to like just contact the agencies, they'll do it for you and all of that. So yeah, things were just easier. It was just easier to do everything in Denmark. So that is why we did it in Denmark. For the Two other parts of the ceremony. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's yes. Yeah, stay, so stay tuned. Later, later. All right. So yeah. if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Click the notification bell. What else do you say? Like this video. Like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.